Greetings, fencers. So now the last episode of Lichnauer Zettel is out. Thank you all for the kind words and support. I really did not see it coming. This started because I was stuck at home and thought it might be useful to have a video series I could point people to, and also help learn about the Zettel even more. I'm not an expert, I'm just on this journey of learning. I can even see where my interpretations change over the course of making this series. So in this last video, I want to bring up some trends and observations that I made looking at multiple different Zettel treatises. I won't necessarily say my speculations on them, but just bring them up. First will be a couple things about the images. One thing I saw was all throughout the Zettel was the left hand was always in different positions. It wasn't so much of a standard grip versus reverse grip. The left hand was always contouring the pommel in different ways, even though in one of the manuscripts it says to keep your hands on the haft when cutting. And generally in guard positions and stationary positions, we see that both hands are on the haft, but it looks like after you make the cut, then get that point there no matter what, however your hands need to do it to make that happen. Another trend in the images I saw was, rarely was the blade constrained on the cross guard. That's the norm that we practice in Hemo when making a thrust, but I can only think of a couple pictures that show that. Instead, most thrusts look like they're with the flat. If the swords are bound in the middle, then you can't actually just thrust straight without turning to the flat. Just something that stood out in the pictures. The next one is how some stuff is written. We know when Lichnauer was alive, he didn't teach the general population. We see a lot of gloss that's more for tricking a less skilled opponent. So it was interesting looking at how do we take the concept and technique and use it against a more skilled fighter. Because if you set up how the gloss tells you to, you will not trick anyone. We can all read these books. It's not limited to a top 1%. We also see at three places where it talks about fooling masters in the three wonders, crooked cut and pulling. Now we often see 3227A regard as the earliest found Zettel source. There is no date, we don't know if that's true, but from content we believe so. And I agree, but you could definitely hypothesize and speculate other reasons. But assuming it is late 1300s, early 1400s, we actually see him get very mad and talk about other fencing masters. Some of the complaints he makes about other fencing masters we actually see start coming into later Zettel manuscripts. He complains that they call winding the shortened sword. We actually see that term come up when countering winding. He also complains about people making two or three cuts leading up to the Vorschlag. We then see techniques utilizing that principle later on. So we see the students and teachers using what they see around them that works and putting pieces of it into the system. Now before you say how impure that is, remember that we're told directly that Lichnauer did not invent or devise the elements of this system. He traveled far and wide to learn from many different masters. That's one of the reasons why I learn from any longsword source I can find. I'm not going to deny knowledge, especially if it's from this system. Another part that I also look at is these guys aren't just going around fighting and killing people. You live by the sword, you'll die by the sword. It's really easy to lose, slip on a rock, sword misses your cross, hits your hand and you're done. Individuals aren't just consistently testing their art in live combat all the time. I'll just leave it at that for now. But this means that Fichtschule, fencing school, and wooden sword practice is a big part of how they learn. And specifically with the rise of the Fichtschule throughout the 1400s, and more people learning and practicing in that environment, there could definitely be artifacts in the techniques from that. Nowhere near as many as we have because we don't see people with blades in everyday life. But I've caught myself looking at some specific techniques and thinking it feels odd. Just something you can look at how or if that influenced it. Now there's a lot of specifics with all these and others, but I won't make this an hour long video. It was quite the experience doing this series and I'm very glad I did. I have a couple videos on a few subjects that I'll make like Abzets and first Ansets and manuscripts, Abschneid, etc. Uh, if you have any questions about the Zettel or what I think or why I do something, just leave a comment. Instead of me writing a long and complicated reply, I'll just stick it in a video. I don't claim to be an expert fencer, this series is my interpretation for 2020, and it will change over time with new information and experiences. Thanks for watching, keep studying, keep practicing. Fence. Nice. Hold! Target area. One point, Alex. Fence. Oh! 